Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. This video, the one that you're watching right now, is not actually one of my normal Slice and Dice uploads. It's going to be taken uh, from one of my most recent streams. Uh, I had a pretty cool run. I actually had a couple pretty cool runs lately, so you can expect a couple of these videos maybe coming up over the next couple of days. But I had a pretty cool run recently. Wanted to share it on the YouTube as well. Uh, utilizes a Tier 0 item to very good effect. So hopefully you enjoy it, and uh, yeah, I'll just let, I'll just let uh, past me take it away now. Goodbye. And back in we go. Come on, man. Why? 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 Molly, you found the cum dog? She found the cum dog. Unfortunate. We've got green, so we've got flex, which has green, and we have basic. I'm sorry. I hate, I hate being basic here. But this is, this is it. Oh, you found no cum dog. Oh. I thought you found it. Sorry. What is the white square? I believe it's random, Johnny. I believe it's a little question mark in it. I think it just gives you a random color. Mm, this is an ad wisp angle. Sticky fingers. Not the worst, usually. But it's ad wisp, man. It's easy. We do have Anishia on the starting team, which I always do hate to see. Good team and add Wisp. We've got there's there's some issues here, I think. Hey, stop saying I'm the cum dog. I'm not the cum dog. At the very least, call me the cum dog millionaire, okay? Uh shoveler, hello. For those who are bad at the game, any tips for unfair? I have only beaten unfair once ever, Shoveler. So I'm not the I'm not the best person for tips on this one specifically, I think. But um I don't know. I I would I would say it's not too different than than normal. Where is CS Needum? I don't know if CS is actually listen, CS is amazing. I don't know if he's actually played much on Unfair either. I don't know what his experience is with that one. Because again, the modes are different, right? Unfair is not the same as hard, and like you know, certain strategies work better or worse. You cannot help. I'm sorry to say, I figured. Ooh, yo, it's cleric. How how fun is it now that you see cleric and you go, oh shit, it's my guy. He's here. Mm. He's here. How many pounds did he curl today? Gotta be at least like a thousand, at this point. Trying to get through each difficulty at least once. Mm. Give me the growth side. Okay, interesting stuff happening here. We're going to put one burst on Ruffian and kill the Wisp here, I think. And then... I think just kill the rat, probably. It's pretty good to me. Oh, you know what? I forgot. CS did shovel a lot of a lot of snow today, so he did do quite a bit of lifting. Very good point, CS. Thank you. Okay, Ruffian. Ruffian is really gung ho today on rolling this shit. That's cool. But we really can't do it without him dying, so I think we just choose to not use that side this turn, which is annoying. But although, actually, hold on. Wait a second. No, we don't get there. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. What if we bandage? There's the line. Okay, we found the line. Easy. Did I hear that CS saved a school of, of kinder or school bus of kindergartners this morning as well? Well, I uh, I I'm sorry. You guys ever see those riddles where it's like uh, they tell you a story and then it's like, how did the police officer immediately know that someone was lying? Right? I'm sorry, Io. I know that you're the murderer. You want to know how I know you're the murderer, Io? You want to know how I fucking deduced your riddle? It's fucking Sunday, Io. There's no damn school buses. You buffoon. You absolute buffoon. Come on. <laughs> Kindergarten school bus on Sunday. Yeah, right. Nice try. 
It's Monday in Asia. CS lives in Canada. Checkmate. Let's see. Let's see. Is this is this worth it? I think it is actually. These are pretty good tier one items. Like they're all like some of the best ones in the game. I accept the challenge. Oh, uh, CS, you moved to Asia recently, right? He did. True. Very true and real. Put this here. Oh, give me the anchor again. I love anchor. Such a good item. This isn't even a bad turn one. Like, look at how look at how shit how, look at how easy this shit is, dude. We get a million billion armor. We kill this bee. We kill this rat, I'm pretty sure. You know what? Actually, hold on. Wait a second. We don't do that. We kill the wisp. That's the correct line here. And then we kill you. And then we kill the rat. That looks pretty good. Maybe, you know what? Actually, maybe what we do here... We might just go for a bandage. Bandage is a pretty good line. We might even go for the shield here. Or the light as well. That looks pretty good to me. And then we should just burst down... A normal B, probably. Looks pretty good to me. Okay. I don't know, Molly, I don't know why Automod caught you on I fucked it, which is pretty funny. But you can you can say I fucked it, that's fine. Mm. I guess we kill this rat. Last turn. CS, I'm choosing to ignore reading your message confirming that you did in fact save that school bus full of children because it does uh, conflict against my narrative. So, no thank you. And look at that. Look at that easy fight. We took the challenge. Challenges. Also got a lot easier, I think, in general, too, which is pretty cool. I am not taking world. Fuck you, game. Give me the dabbler. That's it. You're going back to sleep. Molly, have a have a good sleep. Molly, before you go, do you know if you'll be available? Oh, you know what? Cash Cash already got in there. Let you know for Fortnite or monster hunting after the stream. Oh, he's, he's listening to albums, too. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm down to Fortnite, Cash. I have not actually installed Monster Hunter. So, I'm sorry to say. At least not today, no monster hunting. But maybe, maybe at some point. I'm down for some Fortnite, though, for sure, tonight. Uh, let me just kind of roll this, roll these out a little bit here. Okay. Good rolls, good rolls. Let's try to kill the Wisp. Let's put my friend in the game B. Yeah, Tan. Tan was like, wouldn't like you know, wouldn't it be cool if I put your friend B in the game and not you? And I was like, damn, that's fucked up. Glader, thank you for following. Glader, how long you've been watching Voyix for? It's been a long time at this point, right? I am just curious. Tater, Tater Stots. Hello. Not someone I recognize from Voyix. But hello. Like a year and a half. It's been a long time. What a nice guy. We should totally not make fun of him while he's not here. Unless. Also, you've been looking for cum dog this entire time and you're about to fight this boss in Neo, so you have to stop. How has Neo been treating you? I've heard I've heard some things about Neo. I have a friend who swears that it's the best game ever made. It's fucking God's gift to Earth. And I've had some people tell me that it's not that good. So where do you where do you fall on this CS? I want to hear your opinion. You think it is shit, but you love it. Interesting. Very interesting. Not super, but good. Do I have lethal here. I don't have lethal here. Son of a bitch. Next turn we'll we'll have it absolutely for sure. I think as a Souls is like solid, but you do not like games where gear and levels are so important. Interesting. I have lethal. 
Did I have it last turn? I didn't notice. If I did, sorry for the misplay. Would, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Would a statuette be good on initiate? Would that be a good play here? Because all of this sucks. So we get six health. And then we even have gather to get mana off of these blanks. Oh, that's good. Come on. I just missed statue, man. Oh, wait, what's gather? Gather's initiate spell. Replace blank size with plus two mana this turn. It's not good, but it's something. Because Cleric's going to have a lot of blanks, too. Splint's going to have a lot of blanks. It might not be the worst. Isn't Neo 2 the one everyone loves? I don't know, man. Give me the random. I don't want to do this. Twin Dagger is honestly a much better item. I'm very happy we have made this decision instead, I think. Put this shit here. Okay. We run it. Might be a little tricky to get this militia to run away here. We'll see what initiate rolls, I suppose. Uh, one, two, three, four. This does guarantee the militia flee. So we'll take that, I think. We can do like a cleave heal off the shield as well. Which gets the retreat. And then we like, I don't know, kill the goblin? Do we kill the blind? Do we kill the gop? No, uh, let's kill the blind. Let's kill the blind, and then we can pull this up here to keep Ruffian alive, and then we kill Wisp next turn, and everything's great. You just had juggler self-trigger damage at least twice for three turns in a row, literally worse than than uh, X. Yeah, but like juggler's still a good character. I'm sorry to say, Aleph. So you do kind of just have to sit there and stew in it. You have no choice. This is a Caldera angle for sure. I don't want to play Initiate. Get this guy out of here. Give me the Caldera. Put this on... Probably on Ruffian for now. Juggler skill issued themselves and lost you the run. I mean, you know. Juggler, juggler do be juggle. Hmm... Take the three damage there. It looks pretty good otherwise. Ruffian ready to go to Valhalla. Hey, it's not too late. You can you can leave. Nico, you know what? I didn't say hi to the new people. Sorry. You still have a chance. I didn't. I, I said hi to Glade, Glade Air before. Tater Tater Sots, I think I maybe to say uh, thank you for following. But hello. Hopefully you're doing well. I assume you're probably a newish viewer. And then and Nico Nine Doors. Hello. I don't know what this is in reference to. Is this in reference to, for some reason, my, my brain thought Rico's Rough Riders from, uh, from, uh, space, uh, Starship Troopers, which is not even close to correct, I'm sure, but it's where, it's where my head went, so I'm sorry. I think we can do this. It's a pretty good line here. We can kill off one more illusion, and the next turn we should be able to get the, uh... Other two to flee here, hopefully. You forget to lock cantrip characters when you're supposed to. Lightning bugs, story of my life. Absolute story of my life. I've I've been there hundreds of times. Thousands of times, maybe. Of just of just having a cantrip character hit a spiker and die, or I had death from uh what's it called? I had death inflicted from basalt on it. I've been there a lot. You're still close to 4K subs on YouTube? Yes. We are getting very close, which is pretty exciting. Reroll Dabbler? No, thank you. I like Dabbler on this team right now. What is Lich's Finger? I don't think I want this. Oh, oh actually, you know what? I want this. Never mind. I'm stupid. We have, we have Bone Charm. Lich's Finger on Ruffian is just crazy good. Give it, give it to me. Look at this man and his gross ass finger. He's so he's so amazing. Then we put this probably on Splint now. Put this here. That looks pretty good to me. Now Ruffian will turbo go to Valhalla. That's the plan. Five damage, five mana gain is pretty much an instant win on every fight. And then we have Bone Charm, so we don't care about dying. 
That is true, Lightning Box. If we get bar bar Barbarians, even, it's even more upside. That is true as well. Do we settle for Cleave here? Cleave is not terrible this round. Well, I don't think we do. I think against these Quartzes, we really want five damage pretty badly. Should have settled. Should have settled. Um. Oh, we had Scald, too. I'm stupid. I'm actually a dumb idiot. I forgot about Scald and Caldera. I'm so stupid, man. I'm a I'm a big dummy. It's so good to do this into this though, which is not terrible. But I should have I this is I mean we're still gonna win the combat very easily, but it was a misplay. So you do all now get the chance to say lol misplay over and over and over again if you would like to. You are allowed at this point. And it definitely won't be annoying. Okay. We hit you, burst twice. You're not going to run away, right, Wisp? If we do this, I'm pretty sure you won't. CS, you believe in learning? Big mistake, bucko. This guy, hey, hey, everyone, this guy's a nerd. He likes to learn. Everyone make, <laughs> no, I'm done. But, uh, how do we feel about, I mean, Berserker here is pretty, pretty sick. I don't like the finger bonus play as much as before. It's not as good here, but it's not terrible. I think it's pretty solid. I just like bone in general on Berserker. That in and of itself is pretty good. Death Wish doesn't trigger automatically with death. I don't think it does, but you know what? We can try to find out, right? We can We can learn. I will take all of these. I will take this. Maybe go like hit into hit. Honestly, that looks pretty good to me. We could skull, but I don't want to split the slime yet. I want to wait till next turn to split. I was hoping that you'd have the death wish on you, Berserker. Unfortunately, you don't. Now we get it. Okay. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. We should spread damage out here. Because now we get to do some sick scalding. Uh, do we just, like, kill you past turn? I think there's, like, a better way to do that. We can probably go back, back and be a little bit more efficient with the exact splits there. You can't make me. You can't make me do it, is the thing. So here we are not doing it. And there we go. Pretty pretty good fight. If you get chain... What the fuck is pulley? Shift my column down by one plus two item slots? What the fuck is this? You know what? Sure. Why not? Plus two item slots is sick as hell. It, it changes nothing. It changes nothing for us. As far as how this character looks right now. But it could be very cool. So I do like it. We could also put, like, if we really wanted to, something like this here. Oh, not there. Hold on. It goes, uh... Sorry, up here. So we could put a, a, a heal on Berserker as well if we really want to. I don't think we do for the time being. But you do this. That's a thing. But uh, this is this seems... I have not seen this yet. This seems like a very cool item. Just, just like a thing that, like, has very minimal impact on your character but gives you plus two item slots. That's just sick. Especially in a tier 4 slot. That's, that's really cool, I feel like. There's also a bag item that does plus 2 items as well. Is it the bag of holding Johnny? Because I saw something in a patch notes recently where they got rid of it. Because there was some sort of weird bug with it, I think. Starting armor on Berserker does seem helpful. The reason why I don't like armor on Berserker, Taoist, is because if we see this turn 1 and we just want to send him to hell. Like right here. I don't want armor there. I want armor somewhere else. And luck, unfortunately, ended up not being on the correct character here this time. Or whatever. But still. We do burst first. We do, huh? Yeah, we do burst first. Okay. Hmm. It's strange because it puts a lot of power onto one character to get a lot of combos going. But it also puts all your items on one character. That is true, Lightning Bugs, right? There is a bit of a... 
uh, commitment, right? And if that character, for whatever reason, rolls poorly, it gets like super targeted. You can just lose the fight. Absolutely, that is true. A lot of a lot of condensed power, but usually that's not a big issue. You can usually protect a character no matter what. Hopefully, but um, what are you gonna do? A uh, copper ring is pretty good. Doom blade is not for us today. Although, eh, with the bone charm. I don't think it is, though. Um, I think this is actually a decline. I can see this combat going pretty sideways for us if we roll poorly here. So no thank you. We do have we do have new infusion on Vampire, which is kind of neat as well. I think I just want Druid, though. I think Druid's like a tiny bit better, better of a character than Vampire is. Although, we don't have much... You know what? Twin Daggers can stay on the side. Twin Daggers doesn't have to be on someone here. I think this is okay. Although I do like Twin Daggers with Caldera. Maybe, you know what the plan is actually here? Probably. Hey, it's not too oh, late. Mysterion? You can, you can leave now. You can Hello. You can Hi, thank you, you for following. While you still have a chance. How's it going? I think I actually do, on Caldera, like the Twin Daggers. Mana attack is really good. But with Caldera's spell and with, with mana support from Druid and Cleric, I think we want the Daggers to just be the, the damage spreader and then we just Scald afterwards. Mm. And and uh, Glade Air, you can definitely get some better peaks for sure. Obviously, I mean, keep in mind, right? It's it's net one item slots. It's not plus two. It's plus one, because um, you know you it it takes up a slot itself. So it's it's plus one item slots, which is very cool, right? But having three items on a, on all in one character is uh your you know. Putting a lot of eggs in one basket, if you will. It does also just let you do things that weren't able to be done before as well. Which is also very cool. Okay, first thing we do is kill the zombie. We have eight mana. That works. That works pretty well. Mm. That is that is true. That Johnny challenges being easier is true. The sarcophagus boss also giving you items is true, right? And if, if we want to really count it, listen, hey, listen, luggage exists. Luggage is a character that exists in the game, and if you have pulley and you hit a free tier six, seven, and eight item, you can probably make one of your characters just like unkillable, an unkillable demon man. So, there's some stuff going on there. Now here, this is a this is a random. This is a random for sure. Huh. Okay, so some new plans probably here real quick. For the time being, we probably just do this, which is pretty good. And then maybe we do just, hold on, maybe we do. Is this better? Is this better? Is this or it is better? Obviously, but is this good, or is just no no? I think this is this is worth it. I think right now, to me. Although you know what I like more, maybe. Tell me how you feel about this, guys. Tell me how we feel about this over here instead. So we have the Lich's finger on Dabbler, and then we just have Berserker with these nasty four damage sides here. This is a fight we might want cleave. That's actually a really good point, Dawis. In this fight specifically, we probably don't want this. Hmm. But in the future, I think it is worth it. We'll consider. Let's go down here for now. Is this good? This actually seems pretty sick to me too. Hold on, let's think about this for a second, right? Just turning turning cleric into into having just two mana sides, no single use anymore, at the cost of losing the cleanse on shield. We have the cleanse on druid to cover for. This actually seems pretty good to me as well. Hmm. So maybe we do this, and then we actually do continue to go with this line. I I like this a lot too, actually. I think this is pretty good for the time being. Lots of stuff to consider though. We Pulley, I'm liking Pulley a lot. Pulley's got cool shit going on with it. That's that is for damn sure. 
Yeah, this looks pretty good to me. I think the plan is to hit, hit, maybe scald again into kill here. And then next turn, it should just be like an absolute just cascade of graves dying to killing bones. Mm. That is your lightning bugs. We have Caldera. However, we make so much mana, it's very easy just to make six mana turn one and just go balance into scald as well. Obviously, there's some lost value on balance. And also, order, by the way, because we, we berserked first. Although, no, we needed the balance to break the, the stone on the chest, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot going on with this team right now. Oh, hold on a second. Let's, let's make sure you don't die first, Berserker. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much. There's, like, probably a better line there. I don't want to go find it. Let's just kill the, the bones this turn. It'll be okay. It'll be faster. It'll be faster if I just do this, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I, you have the bone charm. I don't even need to save you. Whatever. It'll be faster to do that than to figure out the exact correct line there, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we have question marks. What do these do? Hidden strength. Replace the bottom side with 10 damage to all enemies' mana cost. I'm sorry, what the fuck? Hey, what the fuck is this? Is this is this good somehow? It can't be, right? Oh my god, lightning bugs remove keyword. Oh no. That's too that's too strong. Oh my god, he's right. Holy. Uh where do we put this then? Hold on. Let's 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 okay, let's let's rework some things here for a second. This seems unintended. Let's go like this maybe into like here. Yeah, that's just a 10. That's just a 10 all, huh? Holy. Yeah, hidden strength, strength uncovered. That that is that's crazy. Someone someone send this clip to Tam. I think we need to maybe rework this a little bit. Maybe like have like a thing on it. Like maybe the item has stasis or something like that. I don't know. That seems that seems a little strong. Scott free. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to cheat. I'm sorry. It was an accident. You have to. You have to believe me. I'm just trying to play the game and have fun here. I didn't mean to fucking do this. This was not intended. Um. Jesus, man. Well. Seems pretty good to me. You know, it's so crazy that damage all is also just not a keyword. Is that a zero or an eight? It's a ten. <laughs> Bravo, that's a that's a that's a motherfucking ten right there. Unless you're talking about one of the health values here. You're talking about like the cleric and berserker, maybe? You wonder what else the change blindfold would buff now? This <laughs> Oh the item tier. Oh, it's a tier zero item. It was a random, it was a question mark event. I've never seen a question mark event before, Raffle. It was just a question mark. I clicked on it, they gave it to me for free. There's like no no literally there's no catch they just gave it to me for fun oh was, that was from the chest that's so funny i thought i forgot we killed the chest that's just a random tier zero item that's so sick that's so sick i thought i thought the game was just like here have a free little thing for fun it's just like a fun little event because usually the way mimics would work in the past is they would just give you uh the item, the item would just pop up at the end of combat. It wouldn't be in the little the prompt at the end here. So I'm not really used to that yet. Conduit. I don't know. This is a boss fight. I don't want to fuck this up somehow. Obviously, if we roll the kill side, these fuckers leave. So it's not that scary if we roll that. But if we miss it, things can go bad here. So we'll just decline this, I think. The run, run feels currently pretty good in this position right now. We don't have to do anything too crazy. Oh my fucking god. Check this shit out. We lose the descent here, but that seems pretty good to me. I like this guy. And now I think we bone charm the dabbler again. Mm. You think the reason why it isn't uh, a copycat or a keyword because it would be strong, too strong with copycat? That is true. No agent. Is this not enough for you, Luke? Is 10 damage to all enemies on my eccentric not enough for you? 
If so, fine. But I feel like this is good enough. Personally. But who am I to say? Let me do the next fight. Mm. Oh, Snorlax, by the way, this was your first time typing in the chat. Hello, welcome to the stream. Hi. I'm Cranberry. Nice to meet you. Hopefully you are well. We'll take these. Really looking for that 10 damage all if I can get it. Unfortunately, not happening, it looks like. Uh, You know what? Hold on. Wait a second. Can we just... Balance into... Hill into Scald? That's pretty good. That's a pretty good line. So Snorlax, if you don't mind me asking, how did you how did you stumble on the stream? Are you just a big slice and dice fan, and you're looking for people to watch? How did you end up getting here? Are you maybe a Voyix viewer who has heard some propaganda about about some people? Ooh, we should we should hold on. We should you know, it's a pretty good round. We should do it this way probably. Again, hit here. Scald, kill. Pretty good. Locking forward to ten damage when 10 damage to all exists. Oh my freaking god. These people. These people. You know, fine. Fine, we'll never lock in. Okay, oh, there we go. I did it. I did it. I rolled the 10 damage all. It was me. Uh... You all enemies slash allies get broken and not broken pretty inconsistently. I've had some some builds where uh, I think it was I want to say it was plus two HP to all ended up being really strong for me, but I forget what the build was. Might have involved Seer and just being able to stall out super long. It was a very defense oriented build, I remember for sure. Hmm. You've been preaching about Slice for a long time. It is one of the best games ever. Before 3.0, they were rather rare. I'd, I'd hop on every... I mean, I mean, not super often, but over the last month, I've been I've been grinding it. Mainly because I've been playing it on YouTube. It's been doing well, so... That's why. I, I guess wrench me here? I don't even know what we're doing exactly with this wrench, but... It's fine. It's good enough. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Check this shit out. Want to really go hard in the paint here, guys? Wait a second, where's the... Hold on. Oh, I thought it would, I thought I'd put it in the middle. I don't even know how this pulley works, man. Whatever. Whatever. You can't believe how much generated while everything is in the game now? I... I me personally, Scott? I am not a fan of the generated stuff too much. I find it really not fun when I get fucking blown out by, uh, ooh, this is really good, by the way. When I get blown out by some shenanigans of, like, you know, just something insane happens and, you know, oh, you get, like, both generated heroes to pick from and they all suck. Me, personally, I prefer just, you know, playing the normal game and having fun. But I understand why the generates are also a lot of fun, too. And, like, the fact that they, oh, my fucking God, look at him go! The fact that they, they cranked it up so high is really cool as well. You can do some pretty cool stuff with the new generate things. The fact that you can crank it to like 20% generate, and you can crank monsters to, to, to generate too, it is pretty neat. You're meaning items blessing monsters? It, it, oh, you know, those those as well. I have not played with generated items on at all. How, how, how do they feel so far? How, is, how has that shit been? <laughs> Okay, well this is pretty easy. Stoic is great, but like we have the we have the Lich's finger with plague. We're gonna get a gigantic plague off here and make a million mana probably, and it'd be very cool. You had a generate yellow with a 38 shield side? W Raffle, how? Was this like during like blurs or something? Like how did you do this? That's pretty good. I'll take this. Hmm. 
It does appear that our Eccentric is dying this turn. There's nothing we can do to stop it, which is not great. Maybe kill one of these snipers. I think we... Oh, hold on, wait. Oh, oh, hold on, wait. We can stop it, maybe. No, never mind. We can hit you and get one more mana here. So we can go like this into this. That's still not enough. He still dies, tragically. Should have locked four damage. I'm going to scream. <laughs> I'm going to fucking scream. I'm going to scream. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. No, we can save him. We did it. Never mind. Skull. I got lightning bugs. I got there. Don't worry. I, I solved the puzzle. One thing you don't like about generate stuff is you usually either have gambler-like sides. It, it, it The RNG on, on it can be just insane sometimes. That is true. Has it has it been tweaked at all since uh since the 3.0 release? Have there been some changes to like you know because the way it works I'm pretty sure right is that like a, a tier four character for example has like an estimated amount of value and the the dice sides are decided based on like being roughly equal. Tier three yellow 38 shield was raffle was that all it had? What did it was it literally just 38 shield and nothing else like all X's otherwise? That's great. <laughs> That's such a good character. What the heck? Ooh, hey, a little bit of change to wine here. Oh, wait, we have to take this. Guys, we, we have we have Venom. We have to take this. We, like, legally required to take this. Yeah, that's crazy. We'll put this shit on... I don't even know who right now. Maybe we just do this. He is also just poisoned now to start, too. He's ready to go to hell. Mm, cleric? I think this is fine. I think the fact that we're planning on hitting the plague side, I think this is okay. In 3.0, you had a tier 3 yellow generate with just 5 damage duplicate sides. Snorlaxo. So, I, I had played Slice and Dice quite a bit at the start of 2.0. Took a pretty long break from it and started playing again recently. Uh, when I came back to playing, the the first build that I had, or the first run that I had, or maybe the second, it was the second run, because the first run was, uh, was uh, Luda. The second run that I had, had Leader with i think rainbow and i want to say uh what, did, what what else did it have on it maybe was it cleave i think it was rainbow and cleave so i put both of those on the duplicate side and i ended up with a leader with a five damage duplicate cleave and it was really cool i believe it was rainbow and trident for the cleave uh and that was that was one of the coolest i mean it was obviously super dependent on my leader rolling one specific side but when he hit he hit and it was really cool and it was fun it's it's, it's at least to me it's always fun when you get a terrible character like leader to actually function well so i i had a great time um i would like to overkill the null here so i think we'll do this into this get the bandit to run beyond that We can just kill this Knoll, probably. It's not the best turn, but it's whatever. It'll be fine. And let's see here. Ooh, Pain. Pain on Caldera is a little bit spooky. I'm looking for the death side on Venom here, I think. Oh, we just get the kill side on the Centric. Never mind. Okay, that works. Hey, hey Voyix, look at this shit. Hey, Voyx, you ever do anything cool like this? Boom. Easy. 10 damage eccentric uh, hits everyone. What's all this, then? You got Voyx. You got to see this, man. <laughs> look at look at this shit. Hidden strength, tier 0 item. Replace the bottom side with 10 damage to all enemies' mana cost. Combined with blindfold. Remove all keywords. So now we just have a 10 damage to all. <laughs> Wow, wowie, I agree too. Maybe this shouldn't be on, you know, thinking about it more, maybe we should put this somewhere else at this point. Maybe a different character should have this. Oh, also Voix, also sick combo here as well. Lich's Finger, Mana Gain and Death to left side. 
combined with the new wine. Have you seen new wine yet, Voyix? Start poisoned. All monsters start poisoned. That's another sick little combo we have here, too. We have a, a bunch of fun, neat little combos today, which I think is pretty cool. You know, I'm thinking about it more. Maybe, maybe Caldera should be the one holding this, right? All we lose is the Cruel, but we still keep the three damage side. I actually like this a lot. I think this is maybe the better line. Is it the pulley? Yes, Voyag. So the pulley gives plus two item slots. Hmm. This can go here. Well, if you like 3.0 in general, you're not sure how you feel about some heroes uh, not or barely changing. Like Sparky's dice still being yucky. Uh, I think that... I like most of the changes I've seen so far. I think Snorlax, most of them I do like. There's very few that I'm like, I hate this. I think this is dumb and bad and stupid and it was a bad idea. Uh, except for a lot of the green characters. A lot of the green characters I do not like. And maybe one day I'll grow to like them, but for now I am choosing just to basically avoid any comp that has green in it. Gambler not changing is very Resident Sleeper. I understand why... why it didn't change. Gambler is very specifically supposed to play a certain way, right? But I don't know. You love the greens. You do not think most of the greens are good, but you like them. I, I, again, I said this before. I love that Tan was like, let's do some crazy shit. I really appreciate that. And some of them are really cool characters. I think uh, uh, Presence, the ghost guy that has the intangible health, is a really cool design for a character and has a lot of cool synergy that doesn't exist otherwise. Like, uh, like, uh, Imp Cup or Silver Cup, whatever it's called. The one damage pain rerolled item onto Presence is sick. That's a really cool combo because you, when you inflict damage on your own turn, you then are intangible for that turn still. So if anyone else targeting you does no damage. And you then also don't take any follow up damage from pain if you roll more cantrip sides. So it's really a really cool design. And there's some cool synergy, but the baseline character suck ass real bad. <laughs> some greens are also just pretty good. Yes, also true. You think Robot can go nuts? Need some item synergy, right? But the fact that it has four item slots is very cool. Thinking about it more, I think I just like having a Centrix blank covered up here. Thinking about it more, I think I do just like this instead. Hmm. You think dice is pretty cool? In my experience playing dice CS, it just overall low rolled. I didn't like it that much. I might have been unlucky. Who knows? That's the fun thing about that character, I suppose, right? Is that it is a dice, which is kind of cool. I don't know. Can you pull the essential to get two cantrips on him? Let's look at that for a second. So I, I think you can like do pulley here. And then you can do this. That's actually really nice. That is pretty cool. And then I think we do... If we're doing that, then we do this, probably. And then we do this. The big issue here is that it means that the poison has to go probably on Eccentric for now, then. I liked having it on Venom, because the plan for Venom was to hit that plague and just die. But this is okay. This is pretty good. I do not hate this right now. You can also do this, which is not terrible. I think I like this more, having this be a five damage side here. Okay, let's run it. Unfortunately, Venom has no dodge, so Venom will die, but we we gave Venom the bone charm, so that's okay too. That also does mean that we can't use uh, the, the plague side until Tarantus triggers the devour, probably. Hmm. I... Don't like Sorcerer here. You know what I want to do? I want to play Shaman because I want to see how good the new spell is. Or not the new spell, but the cheaper spell is. But that's a good enough reason for me to take Shaman here. The end. Ghost immunity being one pip is such a pain, so five damage is good. Is five damage the new four damage? Does anyone know? This is a lot of damage coming in this round, too, actually, huh? No? Okay. Ferret, also hello. There's so many runs in this game. 
you have so many runs of this game and there's still characters you have not seen and you're so confused as to why. You know, that's just how it works. Okay, I would love I would love Caldera to roll his big damage move here if he wouldn't mind. Good work, Caldera. I think you're still dead, by the way. I think you are still dead, actually, which I think is kind of funny here. Yeah, Shaman kind of dropped the ball on this turn, but I think we still make it out of the combat at least. But good work, Caldera. Keep it up. <laughs> the only ghost... The only ghost has changed intervals, so... I mean, Voyax, would you say that ghost interval change is a buff or a nerf to the ghost? Because I was here saying, I think it's a buff. And I understand the logic for that. I don't like... I'm not trying to uh, talk shit. I understand the premise. You think it's a side grade? I think it is an overall buff for the ghost. I understand... The premise of, oh, it's much easier to trigger the intangible turn one, so you can just follow up, kill them turn two much easier. I understand that premise. However, I do think that ultimately the ability to, to just bypass them much more easily at the four damage threshold is better. Or is, is, is a is a easier thing to kill. Can they play almost the same? Nah. One pip to all heal sides, plus one pip to all shield sides. This is just dragon pipe plus... Uh, Studs into one item. Interesting. Lion seems so good, and every time you picked it, uh, it does nothing. I get the premise of Lion. I don't like it very much. I am not a big Lion supporter. Because it just feels like... Kind of, it's also kind of weird on this team, too, right? Where does Lion go on this team right now, right? Like, Eccentric... Doesn't hold it very well. Venom doesn't hold it very well either. I don't think this is a lion team. I think Tusk just makes sense here. Shaman causes your own team to flee. Is that how it works? Is that does that happen? Hmm. Yeah, Voix, it, it, it is true. Sometimes you do have turns where it's like, oh, I, I can't even break the uh, intangibility. At that point, I feel like this is maybe a, a miscalculation on the person playing and then and then low rolling really hard. But I don't know. I think it's I think it's interesting. I, I think it's overall a buff to ghosts, especially because Voix, I feel like because of the fact that that ghosts, I, they still have the eliminate move, right? They still have this the six damage target lowest HP character. I think if you get really unlucky and they double up on someone, and not being able to consistently get a kill on at least one of them uh, on turn one. I feel like that does cause some issues for you. But I don't know. CS, that is a lot of characters you haven't seen yet. I'm taking Tusk here. I think Tusk is pretty good. Slap this shit on to, to Shaman for now, probably. Hmm... You know what's interesting is that this does technically double buff heal shields, right? If we put this on on Cleric, for example, this goes up to five pips. It's still, I think, better here, but it is interesting. Mostly, you think they're only scary if they go poison, poison. Wait till this guy gets double eliminated. He's going to be so sorry. Mm, do we have any four damage hits here, actually? I'm looking at it now. I'm realizing we don't really have a great way to deal four. Okay, we have one way to deal four. That's nice. Um, Same targeting off of both of these guys. It's whatever. This is kind of spooky for us. I don't know. We'll see how things look next turn. I am a little, little shook right now. I like cleanse here. We can pull this next turn if we need to. Oh, you know what? Actually, I like, I like cleanse. Oh, I like cleanse on the, the eccentric, though. It is better here. Whatever. I want to get the, the, the pain off of Caldera 2 next turn. We should be okay. We have, you know what? We have the Ritual Cleanse next turn for that, hopefully. Mm. Voyax, are you trying to say you're built different in Slice and Dice? Is that what you're telling me right now? Are you telling me you are, in fact, a different Slice and Dicer than the rest of us? Yeah, we get to leave now, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Goodbye. Mm. 
You think people spend time thinking about the worst case? I, Voyix, I would describe myself as thinking about the average cases. I feel like most times, as long as you play correctly, the average case is good enough to win pretty much every combat. That's, that's I think, my overall ideology in Slice and Dice. Um, so that's what I shoot for, is trying to get average results. Which is maybe a wrong thing to do. Uh, I like Kronos here well enough. It's not like the most amazing blue character ever. But it's fine. I don't love Paladin here. I want I, I want like a character that can actually hold this uh, tusk well, I feel like. Although, ooh, actually, you know what? I do want Paladin, because Paladin does double dip on both of the, the shield sides with the uh, tusk. That's pretty good. Mm. If you pick a plan for the worst case, you can try to cover a bad roll. Yeah, but like I think I think the issue there, Voyx, is that planning for the worst case sometimes means that if the worst case does happen, your plan for the worst case is still not good enough. So like, why plan for it? I guess right. If the worst case happens, it happens. I'll take the paladin. Mm, I guess I anchor on like shaman here. It's whatever. Raffle, that's fair as well. How do I feel about the new tier three guys? I haven't played with with Prince or Captain enough yet. I'm pretty confident I like Stoic, and I'm pretty confident that Agent is the coolest. But I don't feel confident about how strong they are either. That's where I'm currently sitting right now. I think overall, well, that's neat. Uh, well, everyone's getting pained. No one specifically stands out as, like, an important target to kill here for me. So I think we just, like, kill this wisp. Eh, whatever. I actually think agent is pretty good. Three damage shifter is sometimes good. I think it's it's so nice that they gave it two of the uh, quad use sides. So that way you can actually try to synergize around quad use instead of on wander where you were like, I'm going to synergize around quad use and then you never roll it. It's much more reliable, you know, to do that with, with agent, which is pretty cool. And nine health on an orange is is is, is pretty sweet too. So, you know, I, I think it's a, it's, it's a pretty decent character, but I, I want to reserve judgment on it because I think... It also, in theory, could be bad. Okay, let's try this again. I'll take these. I will roll the rest here, I believe. Can I keep you alive here, Caldera? I can, right? You're at yeah, you're alive. Let's just let's just be safe. Cool. It's basically impossible to evaluate agent because shifter is unhinged, but the first time you rolled inflict death, you were soul. I didn't know that was a thing you could roll. That's so funny. Ooh, they changed Horned Viper. Okay, hold on. Is Horned Viper good here? I don't think so. Because our characters don't have poisons they can really reliably hit off of this. Mm, okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. You have to trust me on this one. Okay. You have to trust me on this. So I think it's going to be on a center. Is it a good plan? It's a great plan. Voyix, he, Voyix, I'm sorry to say, he's figured out the plan already. <laughs> he already knows the plan. So we're going to go pulley into hidden strength, into blindfold, into shuriken to chain, because it's still ranged, to change the, chain the ranged hit off of Venom's poison attacks here. What a sick combo, holy shit. It's going to be cool if it works. It's a, a lot needs to go right, but if it works, it's going to be really cool. So I'm excited for that. And then we'll put the poison on Shaman, I guess. This will go on Caldera for now. And I guess I guess Twin Daggers go nowhere, but that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. okay, well. Part, part A is a success to the plan so far. That's good. Okay, well, so here's the issue is that... Oh, wait, 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 Chomp doesn't kill anyone. It's fine. Never mind. We're good. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. It's the hand, by the way. 
Hand is our last man. Do we have anything cool to do with Wizard here? I don't really think so. So it's probably just the Warlock pick to be safe. Probably just a Warlock here. I'm pretty confident. This is a YouTuber. It could maybe go on YouTube. I wouldn't be shocked. It, it's doing pretty cool stuff. It's doing some cool shit today. Um, We'll put this here and here, I guess. Random and get ace. That would have been pretty funny if you, if you said it like a couple seconds ago, but I didn't think of that. Uh-oh. Hold on. We have an issue. The hand is killing Venom. Okay. We don't have the chain here, but we do have the seven poison uh, mana gain death side here. I think this is enough for us, hopefully. I think this will be good enough, probably, to win this. We'll see, though. CS, so yes, hello. What are you saying? You can... You think anyone can beat hell mode now? Interesting. Let's think here. Is there... Oh, we should do the poison first, actually, because we don't want to kill them. Oh, no, Eccentrix is dying now. No! Hold on, wait a second. I like that guy. Is there... Is there a world where we somehow, like, hit people first, maybe? And then, no, we don't care about the mana. It's fine. It's whatever. We'll just cash out. Hi, oh, you're asking this game. How be good? Hi, <laughs> you're from Germany. First time watcher. Uh, Jeff, if you want to be good at this game, you first off have to hit the craziest tier zero item combo I've ever seen in my life. Just do that and you should be pretty good from there. I have faith in you. Oh, I have double blaze up. I forgot about the, the wisp. Actually, there we go. It is The, the game is just over. That is just a, a, a turn one kill on the hand, huh? That's pretty sick. Let's look at the stats there. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say like, why is why why does everyone hate the eccentric? It's because he has he has extra items here. That's why he's so far away from everyone. I was like, what ha is he stinky? What happened here? But it's just this. He's got too much. He's got too much swag. Anyway, that was a fun one. That was a pretty cool one there. Okay, we can do at least one more run, for sure. I'm not doing greens. They've shown me greens every single run so far today. Oop, I didn't mean to bump the mic there. Okay, that's it. Video's over. Uh, just me again doing the outro here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat that you could uh, do that with a tier zero item, huh? I thought it was cool. I thought I thought it was worth sharing with you. If you didn't enjoy it, my bad, I guess. Sorry. Oopsie doopsie. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.